Hello everyone, Mr. Ghoul here, welcome back to my next video. Today I want to show you guys uh, a game I really like. I finally got access to the Heroes of the Storm Vader, which is a Blizzard game. The best way to describe it is to call it a MOBA or a lane pusher game. Some people could argue it's similar to League of Legends or Dota 2. And those are very popular games. And those are also games which can be played for free. It's free to play. So it is this game, but Dota 2 and League of Legends for me, personally, I know they're good games, but they didn't give me the feeling I wanted to play more, something like that. So for me, this game is actually very cool. I really enjoy playing this and I'm really glad I finally had beta access. If you want to get some beta access as well, I've got a video about that. Check the links in the description or check on the end of this video about how to do that. But let's get on with it. Um, as you guys can see, we have a very nice character screen and I'll go to the shop or I'll go to play first and I'll show you guys what heroes there are. Well, today I have a bunch of heroes. Uh, this is free to play. So every other day or something or every week, I'm not totally sure how many times they change it. You get to play about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or if you pr proceed to level 15, you will get a free hero rotation slot. What this, that means is after a few days, this specific characters, these who are unlocked currently, uh, will change around. So you will get to play all of the heroes for free. And if you decide to go to the shop, for example, where you can find many, 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 many other heroes, which are from, for example, uh, World of Warcraft, Starcraft 2, uh, Diablo, Diablo 3. Uh, it's, it's very cool and it's very well implemented. Uh, instead of using items and such and special armors, you specialize your character in-game while you level it up per game. Besides leveling up your character in-game, you also can level up your own character or yourself or your profile, however you want to call it. Uh, my most popular hero currently is Malfurion, which is a healing druid. It's very nice and I like to play the support role by healing my characters or my friends and stuff like that. Um, if you do want to buy heroes, some of them are only 2000 golds, but the latest one, the Lost Vikings, which is not looking very interesting, at least for me, costs about 15,000. Well, uh, let's start by the first thousands of a couple of thousands of gold are acquired pretty easily as you can see level two you get a thousand gold level four as well level eight you get through two thousand and level ten as well so that's already four thousand five thousand six thousand gold alone by leveling to level ten which is not that hard to do after that you will proceed to level 12 you get a free hero rotation slot same for level 15 if you want to play ranked on the hero league you can do that from level 30 team league is from level 40 and up but there also are some daily quests so every day you will get one of these quests and they provide with a pretty good amount of gold so in my opinion it seems like the free to play aspect has been implemented well if i want to buy for example regar the only thing i have to do right now is uh, do one of these quests and i will almost have enough if i do this one and i will have enough if i do the other ones and they're very easy to do. And besides that, you also get gold for leveling up your character uh, or the one you choose to fight with. So you level up your profile, you level up your heroes, and that's all providing you some gold as well as winning. But winning or just playing a game, ending it just gives you 20 or 30 gold. It's in between that. So. You do get some gold even if you not have daily quests and stuff. But if you're impatient, you can go to the shop and you can spend gold or real money to do that. And for those who want it, you can buy skins. They do not give you an advantage, but it's all just skins. So these things, uh, okay, they look very well, but not appealing to me. Besides that, you can also buy stim packs, which is something like a subscription. Uh, let's get the bigger one, a 30 day stim pack will give you 100% more experience and more gold earned. So for those who want to speed it up, you can do it, but it's very accessible in the way of it being free to play. 
Uh, currently it's a closed beta so you have to be lucky to get invited but I finally got access after a year and it's looking pretty fun but let's get started just for the sake of this video I will go to practice mode to confirm I'll change my hero to let's say I want to play Uther which is melee support so let's select Uther because I have played him once more or Raynor it's a little bit cooler I guess which can be unlocked for 2000 gold so Let's press ready and show you guys a little bit where this game is all about. There are a bunch of things I really enjoy about Blizzard games. They do tend to take a lot of time to develop, but when they do get a game done, or at least this is a later phase in the beta, there also was an alpha a year ago already, they tend to be very good. The sounds are spot on, the effects, the general way how the game feels is very nice. And I really like that. So I will explain this a little bit. Every map has something special to it. I am not familiar with all the mechanics, but I wanted to give you guys a quick first look and my own thoughts about the game. Uh, once you start up, you can press the end button and you start with either of these talents. As you can see, our level is one and the team's enemy level is one. So you level up as a team on the go. But let me say, uh, I got Penetrating Round, Inspire as an ability, and Adrenaline Rush. And uh, this activates when you are below 30% health. And if you activate that, you will heal more. But kill enemies to gain basic attack damage. Let's stick to that one. Because I'm not, expect I'm not expecting to die. Let's click on the map right here, which shows you an indicator of how your hero will run. And you can then go there. But... If you want to, you can unlock the camera if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. And for those who are interested, you can press the G button on your keyboard. You can hold your left mouse button. You can ask for defense, danger, or assists, or you can say, I'm on my way. If you think an enemy is dying or a teammate is dying, you can press the V button and it will call for a retreat, which is a very easy way to communicate with your team because... Uh, this is required if you want to play as a team it's a team game so yeah it's pretty important but let's go to the middle and try to show you guys a little bit where this is all about uh, let me see a penetrating round inspire bonus attack speed once you level up you get your ultimate ability which is also a very nice okay let me try to kill that dude or at least attack him these are NPCs so they're not very hard to kill this is just for training purposes because in reality it isn't going to be as easy as this when you're playing real players so a dude is trying to stun me I'll try to hit him as you guys can see those mobs over here they are AI controlled and they're they are important though because once they push here they will soak up the damage from these towers because if I walk in they heal you they do quite an amount of damage but for now let's mount up by pressing the Z button, go to my base and I can, I can take a shrine over here which gives me a cooldown of 100 seconds or you can hardstone to your base which is the upper right side of the blue side in my case because we're blue. Once you're here you're immortal and you regen your health and mana very quickly. Uh, our team has done some work so i can press the end button again and get another talent so i can choose to periodically empower basic attacks or basic attacks heal me uh, i want to empower myself because i'm not playing real players so i'm feeling pretty confident i will be able to kill them so let's go over here there are a few enemies over here and i can probably kill that one pretty easy so hold the q button try to kill that dude over here i think i'm good Hopefully Malfurion will not heal it. Okay, I killed him. So let's try to finish off Malfurion as well. Hopefully Nazebo will soak up some damage. But I'm not sure if I have enough life to defeat him already. Hopefully this... Oh, this is, ability is already on cooldown because I got under 30% health. But as you can see, I spoke of a northern tower and a southern tower. That's, a, that's not really the case in this map. Uh... Don't hold me on that one because I haven't played this mob that much, but I really like it. So, as you can see, uh, my health is a little bit low, so I'm going to hardstone back to my base. Uh, 
and I will heal up. So it automatically mounts me up, which gives you movement speed. Um, as long as no enemy is hitting you, you will move faster. But if you get hit, it will dismount. So a new talent. Let's see what I want. Penetrating round will slow enemies or gain movement speed per inspired hero. I want to decrease their movement speed so they cannot run away as easy as they want to. So let's hit that one and try to hit Mirrodin. I think we're good. This is ranged attack so I let the AI soak up the damage over there and I will try to kill Morphurian. I hope I slow him. It does knock him back so it's not very helpful but let's get some extra experience level up a little bit over here uh, Naziba will hopefully not soak up the damage over there I will let those do that I'll just hit uh, that tower over here I should be okay as you can see they have ammo this is an ammo count once that's all done they can't fire they have to wait before getting new ammo there's also a class which can refill that that's a little bit different, but that's for example Malfurion, which is a healer. He can do that. But let's try and get something done. Okay, at least I killed one tower, so we are trying to push through. Um, we could require some help. Let's see if the AI will help me. I will ask for assists. Hopefully they will respond. I'm not sure. They're soaking up some damage here. Why Diablo killed some. So this hero does not have that many low cooldown skills, but it is ranged damage. So if I was melee or melee, I had to jump in right here. But first, let me get a talent. It pauses the game because it's a practice mode. Calls down a strafing battlecruiser. That seems cool. I have used it before. It's pretty powerful. But first, let's kill Malfurion and then we can get the gates down. Okay, Morphurion is almost done. As you can see, our team is level 11 and the enemy team is level 8. So we are having uh, a slight advantage over them by having more health, a little bit more damage and all of the other good stuff. Because they died a lot more. You get XP by killing NPCs, you get XP the most by killing enemy heroes. And let me see, the Hyperion. Let's spawn the Uber attack. So... I currently use my ultimate ability, which is Hyperion. Underneath the shadow, it will basically melt everyone down there. So it's pretty cool. Let's try and see if we can get that one down. Hopefully we will. So if you stand still, it will automatically attack some of the enemies. I'll have to walk back a little bit, let him push, and then try to use the slowing gun to kill Muradin. Uh, it's not working out, so... As you can see, I'm pretty close, so I will push a little bit and then quickly mount up, go back, and then Hearthstone back to my base. And simply because this game has a lot of heroes and um, every map has different mechanics, it's really fun to me. The only downside is that if you have new players like me, um, they might, might ruin the game for you, but it, I believe it is skill based so it will try to match you with players with similar similar skills So I think that will change around when let me, uh, When you level up so let me see another new talent giant killer or double barreled a second charge That seems like a good thing so I can use this twice before it incurs a cooldown Um let me see, how are they doing over there? How are they doing over there? I'll go to them instead. I'll try to show you guys a little bit of the map. Later on mechanics. Uh, in the middle there are also, for example, some mini bosses you can defeat. And they will help you after you kill them uh, attacking the enemy base. So I'll let them soak up some damage. Okay, another... Okay, let me see, walk back, walk back, get some kills on that, wait for my cooldown, I think I'm good, one, okay, so I have to wait a little bit more, 
but I killed it, so that's good. Let's me ask for some assists, because I could really use that. Thank you, I just killed one. Enemy slain, and if you do get, for example, double kill, it will give you the sounds you want. It's really hard to explain. Um, they are doing a really good job in giving you the feeling that you actually... Uh, yeah, barely managed to kill him. It's, it's, it's very good at giving you that satisfying, satisfying feeling or something like that. And that's what is keeping me in the game currently. So, as you guys see, I will quickly show you. If I defeat these mercenaries, they will help you out. So, let's see if I can feed them alone. I will try to ask for some assist. Hopefully they will help you. They will help me. If it is not working out... I well they are assisting me I requested for help and the NPC is helping me so I'm not going to use my ultimate ability which is a very good finisher for example if they are defending the core because the main purpose of this game is to destroy the enemy core this is their core and our core is over here and those uh, will display a percentage of health when you are playing versus other players so uh, let me get back to my character because my team can use some help. What's up with that? Not very good over here. So I will use my ultimate ability. A lot of enemies under those shadows. So hopefully I will get some kills. I think I will. I got a new talent as well. So deal extra damage to disabled targets or penetrating round. Okay, uh, let me get penetrating rounds. Okay, that was out of range, but I'm pop popping my cooldown to get more bonus attack speed. Bomb, um, I get one. Let's kill Lily. Get the healing cloak over here, which are those green things. So you can zoom in for those who are interested. The graphics look very nice. Um, it is a top viewed game, so it's different than three dimensional games in the way of third person or first person stuff like that but the graphic style is very nice and it isn't all that demanding for PCs either in fact if you're on Windows I believe it will actually run properly on integrated graphics so that's good if you want a proper free to play game uh, it should run on lower end PCs as well to make it more accessible for a bigger group of players but if you turn up all of the options in my case everything to ultra it, it looks actually it looks pretty nice so very very nice indeed but you can disable a lot of stuff for people I will call for retreat so my team will not die so they will heal up but it looks pretty impressive let's quickly heal up as you guys can see my health is coming back very fast so I might as well go to there because your health is always regenerating by a very small margin so my team is almost at their core already and we have a uh, three level advantage. If I want to I can get some more help by killing some of these mercenaries or for example the boss over here. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, that would make the video a little bit too long to my liking. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the mechanics. So as you guys can see most of our team is kind of going away. But let me fire up a few of those penetrating around so let's use my ultimate as you guys can see it's very very powerful it does have a 100 second cooldown for this character but it is very nice indeed it will probably kill Lily I'm not sure well, it almost did but it didn't quite yet so kill that dude so you actually do have to aim some characters are easily to learn and some are very hard. I believe the Vikings can be controlled individually. Those are at an, uh, the latest in the game if I'm not mistaken. So, so hit that one. Or request some support. Assist me please. Assist me please. Yes. So one of the advantages of a range class is that you soak up less damage. If you're melee you will run into the AI controlled ones and all the other good stuff. But they kind of have it the idea of this game is that it will be changed accordingly so it is even though it's still beta it is pretty balanced I'm not I'm pretty satisfied of how they implemented the balance in this game currently every character has something unique and that's something I really like if you want to play Diablo yes you can 
if you want to play with um, how, how is he called? It's not Patchwork, but the other one. Grobulus? No. It looks like Patchwork, but it's called differently. That's a very cool character as well. Let's finish them up. I'll kill that dude. Okay, the core is attacking me, so let's keep my range. So one of my teammates has defeated one of those bosses over here, the mercenaries. And they're kind of helping out. I'm not going to be cluttered all that much to my team, because I don't want, do not want to die. But as you can see, it will display the core health. So let's use my ultimate as well, which will probably help by quite a bit. But as you can see, the core fires at you, so you cannot go do that alone. You will have, have to have some teammates that actually help you. Because without teammates you can't do anything yet. But that's... Uh, it might not be visible in the video, but... This is my first MOBA I actually like. And I like the concept of the game. And Blizzard has done a very good job of actually... Yeah, get me in this. or. It's very hard to explain, but as always guys, thank you for watching, I hope this was informative. I think this is also a very good MOBA for people who regularly do not play MOBAs. Because there are no different armors which gives buffs or stuff like that, it's all about the levels and the actual gameplay and skill. So, as always guys, thank you for watching, I hope to see you next time and goodbye. Thank you for liking all of my videos and the good support, thanks.